Hey guys, Noob here. Uh, I was just uh, putting together this little project here. These are the uh, mortar tubes that came with all the kits that I got. These are all paper, so you know they come with the uh, ball shells. And I'm trying to get as many, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, mortars going for a little show. So basically this is what I did. I uh, stripped them down, uh, then I coated them. Well, actually, after stripping it down, I put some hot glue around the base here to try and reinforce the connection that the uh, plastic base has to the tube. And then inside and out, can't even see it here, but inside and out, I put a coat of polyurethane. Uh, the spray version does not work very well, so if you do this, I would put a, uh, I'd put uh, it from the can and just paint it on. Did it with a sponge brush uh, inside and out. The These bigger ones came with the dubs kit from Red Apple, the double brakes. The plug at the bottom was uh, paper. So I believe that kind of adhered to or just got absorbed the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, polyurethane there. Some of these smaller ones I got, they got clay or dirt at the bottom. So that was a little mess, but I did make sure to put some down there. So hopefully it increases the durability. Uh, there's actually no plugs on some of these. I believe just the plastic protrudes out a little bit. So after coating it, I went ahead and uh, took some liquid nails. It's still a little flex, it hasn't hardened up yet. The edge here has hardened pretty good. So I took some liquid nails. And if you ever look at the bottom of these, they have uh, some staples sticking out. So I went and uh, you know, filled, filled it in here. And uh, so hopefully they grip, grab the nails that are in there. They don't shake loose. Uh, and I filled it up here to the rim and just tried to kind of uh, smooth it out. I'm also gonna put some more around the edges when I screw them down here. So basically, uh, the polyurethane idea came from Skylighter. They have a, uh, don't mind the kids in the background, sorry. Uh, so basically the polyurethane should uh, help with the, the longevity of this. These are gonna be shot once, probably during the show. These aren't gonna be constantly shot out. So I don't believe that's gonna melt the polyurethane or you know have any issues. I'm just trying to extend it in terms of uh, shelf life, or not shelf life, but uh, life over several, you know, shows or shots or whatever. And then I got some drywall uh, screws and uh, put them on four points down here. And I believe that's maybe half an inch. Not sure. But I uh, just got a pound of cheap little drywall screws to put these down. So six are going to go here, and then 12 are going to go there. And I might maybe lay some bricks uh, in between each tube or the sets of tubes when uh, I'm doing the show. So this is me just more or less trying to get as many mortars together fused up for, uh, you know, my show. All right. New belt. Here's a tube that I didn't do yet. And as you can see, those are the staples that I was speaking about earlier. That I uh, went and uh, put down for the liquid nails deal. By the way, there's my stash. All protected from the elements, I guess. Long-term storage. I'll tell you this, if you set it up like this, it is a pain in the butt to dig for what you need. So categorize, categorize them. Alrighty.